Lawmakers in the United States, along with a growing number of EU foreign ministers, are on the brink of suspending military and economic aid to Egypt. It comes after a violent crackdown on protesters in the country that's now left more than 800 people dead. Live now to Nine News correspondent Peter Stefanovic in Cairo. Peter, it has been extremely volatile and violent. Have things calmed down at all? Uh, yeah, they have quite considerably, Deb. The uh, Muslim Brotherhood uh, had vowed to protest every day this week. It said that a couple of days ago it wanted to keep up the fight, it wanted to maintain momentum. Uh, and there were some protests today outside Cairo and in other parts of Egypt, but they didn't have the same intensity and there certainly wasn't the violence that we've seen here over the past couple of days, fortunately. Now that might be for a number of reasons. It might be that the organisation is regrouping at the moment or it might be that they are in some kind of negotiations as well. And we heard from General Sisi today who is um, the head or the chief uh, of the army here, basically in charge of the country at the moment, he talked tough. Uh, he did say that uh, there would be zero tolerance with respect to violence at the moment, uh, but he is looking to push uh, Egypt forward and he said Egypt is a country for everyone and he is welcoming all political parties to take part in that. But the real shocker of the day today was from the uh, health uh, ministry who confirmed that 79 people died yesterday in clashes outside of Cairo. Now, all of the attention was based on Cairo yesterday in that standoff that involved police and the protesters at that mosque, uh, which is only about five blocks away from where we are at the moment. So 80 people uh, died in clashes outside Cairo that really didn't get uh, much media attention, which really goes to show, Deb, how widespread the problems are at the moment. Such a terrible situation, Pete. Thank you.